All right, welcome back, everybody. We are in Starfield on beta. There's the Rev-8, so I can prove that I am beyond the point that Bethesda removed glitch building, and I'm going to show you something. If you go to settings and you go into controls, go all the way to the bottom of controls, ship builder, allow flip merge. Change that to on. Go to your ships. Bear with the mess of this thing. I got ships that messed up because I got locked out of uh, creations tab. So I'm going to come in here. I've never been happy with this little drop off back here. This was my uh, uh, Kepler revised build that I did, uh, the Stroud Eklund build. So we're going to go into Ship Builder. We're going to come over here. We're going to find something that I like to put on there to get, you know, just just something that will make it look a little nicer. How about this Nova Calling? So it's the wrong way, obviously. All right. Now, at first, everybody knows in Ship Builder, get the right height. I can't just place it. It won't let me do it. But if you hold it, I'm going to hit Z a couple times. Let go. Tab. And there it is. Ship Building is now our ship flip glitch building. Well, I don't know what you want to call it. The... The glitch build is now back. You have to hold it. Hit a couple times. Listen for that little click. And then hit tap. And there it is. And that's not literally the perfect piece, but that is a good piece to put on there to kind of, you know, subtle it back in there. But that is your thing. That is how you can now officially, as part of Starfield, vanilla builds, you can do glitch building, and nobody can say it's not part of the vanilla game anymore. It's there. I guess the bug was causing some other thing, ship duplication or something someone said on Reddit. I don't know. It, you tell me. I don't know what it was causing, really. So, thanks for watching.